Now, hey. while the president was overseas, his team was developing a restructuring of the White House communications staff to include a rapid response group that would be able to respond to daily allegations of uh, Russian election interference. Vlad and Paula. Errol, you mentioned this restructuring. Now, many people are, of course, very familiar with Sean Spicer, but there's a lot of people on the communications team. What would a restructure actually entail? Well, there's been no official announcement of it yet, but based on what we're hearing from people inside the White House, you know, Sean Spicer, for example, is someone who has had to deal with daily uh, questions about the Trump transition team, those associated uh, with the president, and what they knew or, or what they did at the time of uh, contacts with the Russian ambassador. That has prevented, uh, it's believed, uh, Sean Spicer and the rest of the White House press staff from being able to push ahead with the president's legislative agenda with items that he wants to dominate headlines. So this restructuring would uh, essentially create a reduced role for press secretary Sean Spicer. Uh, we've seen in the past few weeks a rotating cast of advisors and those in the White House who will address the media. It could also include this war room where new staff hired to the White House would work aggressively each day to respond and have surrogates on various uh, news channels and outlets to deny any allegations of wrongdoing. That it's believed would free up the White House communication staff to push the president's agenda ahead, whether it be on tax reform or health care reform. Errol, uh, thus far, the Trump administration has, has been fairly quiet about uh, Jared Kushner's uh, meetings uh, with Russian officials and that story in the New York Times from last week. I wonder, though, he's always been seen as someone who has the president's ear, probably the one of all of Donald Trump's advisors who he is closest with. Has there been signs of any strain given the news that's come out recently? Well, that's what makes these latest revelations so stunning. For the first time, you have someone not just within the president's inner circle, but within the Trump family uh, being accused of potential wrongdoing. And it's not really expected that the president would uh, dismiss uh, his relative and close advisor, Jared Kushner, as he has done uh, with other people uh, who have lost his confidence. But there have been some signs over the past few weeks that the relationship is fraying. Uh, there were reports recently that the president was irritated at... Uh, the revelation that Jared Kushner's sister, Nicole Meyer, was touting the EB-5 visas in China. These are visas uh, that immigrants can pay up to half a million dollars for so long as they invest that money in U.S. entities. The president was irritated um, that Jared Kushner's sister seemed to be trying to profit off of his administration. It's also reported that Jared Kushner encouraged the president to fire FBI Director James Comey weeks ago under the belief that Democrats would support such a move since Democrats blame Comey for Hillary Clinton losing the election last year. We all know that the exact opposite happened. By firing the FBI director, it essentially brought more attention to the Russia investigation, has now added a special prosecutor in former FBI director Robert Mueller, and guarantees that this will be a major headline here in Washington for the weeks ahead. Uh, James Comey has agreed to testify in front of the Senate Intelligence Intelligence Committee. So there are some signs here that the relationship, this close relationship between the president and his 36-year-old son-in-law, who has been dubbed the secretary of everything since his portfolio <laughs> includes bringing peace to the Middle East and uh, reinvigorating American industry through innovation. There are some signs that that relationship is fraying, but we will have to watch closely here in the days and weeks ahead to see how, if at all, it manifests. Well, Errol, thank you so much. Sure.